Hello guys, um, here's my S9. Um, I like the robot itself, but sometimes it seems to get stuck. This is some high profile carpeting, and it seems to have got itself kind of in a pickle. Um, you notice these style of chair legs here I have. It has no problems going up these and then back down. Um, I know that the needle vacuums sometimes have problems with these style of chair legs, but the S9 doesn't. Um, so I believe the S9's gonna get stuck because of the high profile carpeting kind of struggles on this. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn red, alerting me that I need to just move the vacuum. Um, luckily, if I just move the vacuum over, it doesn't uh, stop the training run, it just keeps on going. So it's not a huge deal. But that's just something I want to show you. So what's happening is the wheels are actually just spinning. Um, I believe that it's just not getting enough traction. Um, it's, it's, I don't know if I can actually show you. Yeah, I can't really show you what the wheels are doing, but you can notice in the front here, um, right there, you see that white in the front bumper wheel? That was actually from my walls, from the first training wall. It was actually, um, training wall, sorry. It actually was banging up the walls a lot. Um, scraping up the paint, so I'm going to have to redo my walls. So hopefully it gives up shortly so I can show you how easily it is just to fix it. So maybe in later software updates, I robot can just tell the robot to back up maybe two or three inches and then it can unstuck itself. Um, I do like iRobot's round design because in this scenario it would have easily just spun around and kept going. But with the D shape it's a little bit more complicated because its left corner is catching up on that rug. And the problem here is it's also not able to really back up much because it's spinning its wheels. So let me just help it a little bit. I'm just going to give it a little push. Now let's see if it can get out. Nope, still kind of stuck. Nope, nope, we got it. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Or if you're busy, it will send you a notification on your phone saying, hey, I'm stuck, come fix me, and you just kind of nudge it. But overall, it's been doing pretty good on its second training run. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Um, I will definitely do another video of the actual cleaning. But for now, I'm just doing training runs. This takes about two to two and a half hours for a uh, 3,000 square foot home. So this is another area it's getting kind of stuck on. So again, you can just kind of push it back a little bit. Let's see, push it back. Nope, let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. That's all you really have to do is just have it back up, but it's just... Okay, well, hope you enjoyed this short uh, video of the second training run of the S9. Um, when it does the hardware floors, it does it great. There's no issues with it getting stuck. It's just this high profile carpeting might just be a little too much for the robot. But I'll definitely see how well it does when it starts vacuuming. And I'm also going to probably section off certain parts of the room um, so it can clean just certain parts. So have a better chance of not getting stuck. Hopefully in the future, as, uh, the iRobot will add no-go zone lines, kind of like what they do with the uh, Nido series, um, because I would definitely like to section off this area, um, maybe the shag carpet, because it will try to beat itself on this shag rug. Uh, and this is way too uh, thick. So uh, 
You guys have a good rest of your week. And um, I'll see you guys next time.